Welcome to the channel, y'all. Today, we're talking about a lens that has quickly become one of my favorites. We're talking about the Sony 70 to 200 G Master Mark II. Sony released this Mark II lens back in 2021, and with it came a ton of upgrades. My reason for picking this lens up, I had two really big trips on the horizon, a once in a lifetime opportunity to go to the Wave in Arizona, as well as another once in a lifetime trip to go to Iceland where I did the entire circumference of the entire island. With these trips, I was looking for a lens that not only was going to be tack sharp, but was also going to be relatively compact and easy to use. For instance, while on my trip to Iceland, I had to really be intentional about minimizing gear. I knew I needed a drone. I knew I needed my 16 to 35, and then I also wanted to carry the 70 to 200. And those were essentially the two lenses I brought. So I had focal lengths from 16 all the way to 200, 300 if you use the crop factor, but absolutely did not regret it and was able to capture some incredible images with this lens. So what else is it about this particular lens that I love? First and foremost, it's sharp. And I'm talking like really freaking sharp. Corner to corner, portraits, astrophotography, this lens has absolutely delivered above and beyond what I was expecting in a telephoto lens. Now with this Mark II update came the introduction of the XD linear motors that essentially makes the autofocusing function up to four times faster than its predecessor. Another reason I absolutely love this lens is the versatility. The 70 focal length is wide enough that you can capture more of a scene, but 200 also allows you to get really intimate and pull out some incredible compression and also pick out really nice details of a scene. Now, I mentioned my travels. This has gone with me on a ton of trips and the great news about this lens is it is actually the world's lightest telephoto in its class, weighing in at only 2.3 pounds or 104.5 grams. So taking this on hikes or carrying through the airport. It hasn't been any worse than any of my other lenses. One additional feature I absolutely love about the 70 to 200 is the fact that despite zooming in and out, the barrel length remains the same. Now, when I was debating between the 100 to 400 and this particular lens, that honestly was a big factor to me. Additionally, with this Mark II of the 70 to 200, the form and function with the buttons and the actual feel of the lens are markably improved over the previous version. Now, while it looks pretty much the same with its stereotypical white paint for Sony, I absolutely love that Sony has introduced the click of the aperture ring. I am a tactile person. I love to hear clicks and having the aperture ring be able to be manually adjusted on the lens or in body of the camera is a really, really nice touch when it comes to a telephoto lens. Similarly to previous versions, you do still have your autofocus control, uh, your DMF, your optical stabilization, etc. All those buttons feel very much the same, but overall the clicks I feel like are, I don't know, maybe just a little bit better, uh, but yeah look and feel very nice. As you would hope with any lens that's got an aperture as fast as 2.8, the bokeh on this lens does not disappoint. I have been extremely impressed when it comes to portraiture as well as picking out intimate details in the scene, the nice creamy fall off and bokeh that you receive with this lens. As with everything, this lens is not completely perfect. My only ask of Sony would be, why the heck would you not put an Arca Swiss compatible foot on this lens? The foot that comes with it is, I feel like terribly short as well as downright useless. I have small hands and in other telephoto lenses, I know the foot is a little bit longer so it can act as like an extra handle when you're carrying your camera around. 
Uh, but in the case of this, it's, it's, I feel like overly short and the big thing, not Arca Swiss compatible. So I will be switching this out some, at some point in the future because I really hate having to add an extra bracket to then mount it to my tripod. So that's my only downside or negative with this lens. With so many options out there, I hope this helped you narrow down your telephoto search with some of my practical review and images of this awesome lens from Sony. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button for me. A like is also awesome. But in the meantime, I wish you sharp photos, clear skies, cloudy sunsets for beautiful, beautiful, dramatic skies, whatever it may be. The best to you, and we'll catch you on the next one.